Hi, we are going to see the ticket number 10 for the tissue diagram. Okay, you guys all know about the topology. This is the layer 3 topology. Okay, uh, we are going to troubleshoot in two sections. That is, we try to reach from R4. If we able to reach the web server from R4, then there is no issue from R3, R2, and R1. So, we will come to distribution switch and we will check it by pinging the web server IP then we will go to aggregation switch and we check by pinging the web server IP this is the method we are following in the entire tissue tape tickets to identify where the issue is first we have to isolate the issue uh, the issue is occurring between the which two devices and you have to identify which device exactly the issue was and you have once you identify the device then you have to identify the faulty technology the issue is related to which technology that is routing, switching, access list, natting, so and so then you have to take steps to curative action to solve the problem okay but in t shoot exam you can't execute any type of commands on the router and switches you just only you have to select the answer okay let me, let me start from R4 ping 209.65.200.241 ok we are able to reach from here ok then there is a no issue in R4, R3, R2 and R1 so we will come back to distribution switch 1 209.65.200.241 see here you are not able to ping the 209.65.200.241 so the issue between distribution switch and R4 let me check whether we learn the root see you are learned root 10.1.3 through port channel that is through distribution switch 2 then another distribution switch another root also learned via distribution switch only okay so we can confirm that there is no root was learning through distribution switch 1 from R4 we are learning the 2 EHRP root through port channel 12 because the distribution switch 2 also the EHRP is running distribution switch 1 also EHRP is running R4 is also the EHRP is running the scenario these routers R1, R2 and all OSPF is running so there is no root learned through EHRP let me check the EHRP neighborship so next thing is we have to check the EHRP neighbor ok see this is through port channel ok 10.2.1.2.2.2 is VLAN ok so confirm that there is no EHRP neighborship was formed between R4 and distribution switch where is the problem the problem might be here distribution switch the problem might be R4 let me go to R4 see this is the problem in distribution switch 1 EHRP neighborship was running as 10 that is autonomous system number is 10 but in R4 they enable process ID as a 1 ok let me go to the EHRP switch see this is the issue you have to be confused see even redistribution they are used the EHRP 10 only but enabling an EHRP how we are going to solve this problem by changing the autonomous system number see here we are solving the entire configuration we need to done because it won't work for example in 
no router vhrp one okay router vhrp ten this is the solution for ticket but if you configure this way it won't work you know why you can't solve this problem see there is no root advertised okay even this root was not learned yet see the agrp was enabled but it was there is no neighbor was established that's why i copied this one first we will advertise this one advertise this route conflicting router ehrp 10 neighbor ship is right then redistribute because other routers are running in ospf so this router is mid router it is uh, uh, redistributing ospf to ehrp and ehrp to ospf then no auto summary now you can check in distribution structure see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 that is connected to r4 root was done the AJP neighbors was formed so you learn this route denotes it was redistributed this are YSPF routes redistributed into AJP you can see these routes are learned via 0 slash 1 and 4 channel 12 so this issue was solved ok solution for this ticket is issue at R4 yeah, right. Answer to the next is you got to set IP version AJRP root ticket. The third one you need to be more concentrated because they will trick you whether in distribution switch you can change AS1 instead of uh, changing R4 AS1 to 10. In distribution switch also, if you change AS10 to AS1, still it works. But you need to make sure that distribution switch 2 also it's running AJRP 10 autonomous system distribution switch 1 also is running AJRP autonomous system as 10 so it's better to change R4 as a 1 to 10 because it's a one time work if you want to change one then you have to change in all three but in exam you the answer should be AJRP 1 to yeah, that is autonomous system AJRP 1 to AJRP 10 in router R4 okay Change ASP in R4 from 1 to 10 to match AJP and number DSP. Just to read this one. Even I share this tissue take down to everyone. So you can uh, click the answer button and you can verify these things. Okay. But it's a decent or not to get this one because we are going to find answer this is not much big troubleshooting HMN topology HRP interface protocols and all not required it's uh, automatically you will came to know if it is HRP 10 it's HRP 10 then the issue is at autonomous system number okay if you like this video and the voice is good I hope the voice issue clear but uh, still I am not sure anyway if you enjoy this video please give like and share as many as possible and the end of this 16 tickets I am going to provide you one video that is I'm not going to solve the issue I'm just I'm going to identify the issue in a quick manner how we are going to solve the 16 tickets within uh, within one hour so you got to practice in such a way uh, to take the exam because in exam point of view you are not going to do any changes on the router you are going to select only the answer so keep uh, 
check all the running config how it was working see the scenario you should understand aggregation switch and distribution switch one these two ports are running in port channel 13 these two switches are running in port channel 23 anyway port channel these port channels are not going to come in relate uh, in exam point of view exam point of view you are going to consider it only port channel 13 okay if you take the aggregation switch one there might be only the three issue port security then yeah right access vlan then trunk port that's all that's all about the aggregation switch one then distribution switch uh, so far i think we don't see any uh, issue related to distribution switch r4 right now we saw the the ip version ajrp and uh, that is routing issue okay then r1 the bgp issue will come access list will come netting issue will come r2 the authentication issue will come so we will go, go to going to see all the summarized ticket uh, how how shortly we will uh, fix the issue identify the issue uh, by seeing the ticket because in exam you will get a 13 tickets if you spend 10 to 12 minutes for each ticket then you will be out of time so you have to finish all the tickets each ticket maximum you have to spend 5 to 6 minutes okay some ticket will take 12 minutes because you are able to reach from year to year from year to year then you are not able to reach suddenly you will get a panic and you don't know how to do the exam that type of that is an adding issue or access list so without practice you are directly attending the exam then you need to uh, take extra care on each uh, topology each verification commands as of now the ip ip ping ip command and show run command even so you no need to go anything if you read the complete topology you know the complete architecture the show run command is the best command uh, will help you to fix the issue in the exam okay thanks for watching this video if you like this video subscribe and just inform to your friends and if you want to give any feedback just to drop a mail or comment it okay i am uh, i'm expecting uh, comments from you see uh, everyone is getting giving good comments so far i didn't get any bad comments but anyway still if you give the comments to improve myself uh, it will be helpful for me to uh, practice more and improve my skills as well as it will be helpful for you to improve your skills thank you thank you for watching this video